Yeah, I think the USCF and the World Equestrian Games brings some legitimacy to the sport to, to the outside world. You know, our sport, to those that love it, to the people that do it, it's already a legitimate sport and something that, that you know, everybody understands how, how great it is and how fun it is. But if somebody walks in off the street into my office and sees the picture on the wall of the medal stand and, and our, our team standing there with the gold medal and you're competing for the U.S. and it's, an, it's entirely different. You know, you're more than just a horse ranch. You're more than just, you know, somebody that does this. You're somebody that represents the U.S. and you have a sport that is taken seriously enough that the U.S. Uh, recognizes it as an international sport. And I think it just takes it to another level. What was the first year of the WEG competition compared to now? Well, the first year I went was in 2002. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of excitement and a lot of, you know, build up for that very first WEG. And, you know, it sold out immediately. And, you know, the last WEG I went to sold out immediately. I think the reigning is so popular on an international level that, you know, the popularity of it is still there. For me, who's been down that road and, and a couple of the guys that have been down that road more than once, it's just getting more familiar with the different set of rules, um, you know, the guidelines that you got to stay within to show your horses and get them ready and do all that. So for me, there's just a different comfort level from the first wake till now. Um, any other difference? Uh, you know, I wouldn't really say there is much of a, uh, of a difference. It's still super exciting. The venue is still packed. The crowds are still loud. Um, you know, I wouldn't say there's really any difference from the first one to, to now, except for competition wise, these uh, other countries are, several other countries are getting much more competitive. And, and I think this rainy, this WEG in 2018 is probably going to be the most competitive uh, for the medal spots on the, on the team competition. I, I think it's going to be, you know, if I was going to say anything, that's the biggest change from 2002 till now is the world has kind of improved to the point where everybody, you know, the t anyway, the top four or five, six countries are on a much more level playing field. How did it feel watching Cade this year? You know, well, a little bastard beat me first. <laughs> Didn't love that. No, uh, it's always fun to watch Cade. I've, it's, it's just a progression for me from the very first time that he made the, you know, he, he did good at the fraternity. I believe he won the go around and, you know, my, my good friend Dal Hendricks thinks he saw me get emotional, but I didn't. So, you know, for, it was always fun for me on the whole progression all the way through the new things he's done. He was the youngest to make the, the finals of the fraternity. So this is just another one of those steps in, in the progression of where he wants to go. And as a parent, it's exciting. It's exciting to see all that stuff. You know, I mean, I love it. And it, and it would have been the same for me if he had chosen another career. I'd have loved just as much all the steps for him to get there. So because I know where he wants to go, and I, you know, I know how much this helps him get there, and I know how good it makes him feel. So for me, it's, it's really fun to watch and, and incredible. And nobody was cheering for him more than his mother and I, so.